and people. Taking the train, learn how to lock the bathroom. I walked in on a man and then later walked in on a woman. The green light was green, the door wasn't locked because you didn't lock the door. You just have a tendency or a habit to touch yourself and then you screw up. I would like to go to the barrels of money store, please. <laughs> I've never been to a barrel of money store, so way to go, Skagway. I can see Russia from my house. You can't even hear us. Yo, it's good to be back. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. It has been a while, and especially for this dude right here. So we're going. Stop. We're in this group here. Are we going there? Well, at least you found the map. Yeah. And one elevator that's working. Oh, look. I'm a gold member. Gold. <laughs> You'll get there, bro. You'll get there. Mm-hmm. I didn't think we were going to make it. The train stopped. We had a train fire. I still didn't think we were going to make it on time. Oh my god! We have not taken an actual trip by ourselves. Ever. Hey look, our goodies. Oh, the water is right. Oh yeah, look at these little sweats. What? That, I'm glad I had some on board for this. It's not even the full freaking no. 8 ounce. It was only $10. I mean, come on. Right? Uh, that deck, let's check it out. <laughs> okay, it's double the size of the carnival cruises on the two-bed. No. Look at this. <gasps> it is. Oh. Whoa. I know. You can actually have your feet stretched out. Oh, look at the city. Look at the city. Look at the city. Nice day in the city. Classy Gotti. Where are we going? Um, Vida, Vila for breakfast. Coffee, more particularly. Right. I've got my That's smoker's voice cool. still. I gotta get, I gotta get breakfast. <laughs> I don't like to talk like a smoker all day. <laughs> oh, we got it. I mean, you know, it's cruising. This is what I do for cruises. <laughs> There's Sam. We love Sam. He's here. Yeah, Sam is awesome. Where are we waiting? <laughs> Follow me, my Sam's people. I'm here. It's a beautiful day in Juneau. We're crammed up in here. Last time I was on this bus, it was 81 degrees. And screaming babies were all over. And now it's quiet and cold. Yeah.
is pretty cool. Just the glacier right there. Like, who knows how old deep in that crevice. I know, but like, I know it's not gonna look as big on camera as it does in real life. No, it's camera nice. doesn't do that justice. And these icebergs that are hanging out over here, I love those. There's the visitor center, we're headed up there. We found a little fishy popped out. We found this little pond. Well, I mean, it's not that huge over here because this is like 1800, 1900. But then you get here to 2003 and 2010. So in seven years, it just it just said, I I'm over. I'm done. I'm tired. <laughs> Y'all want to heat us up? Fine. And having's melting away. This feels like when I was little, we used to make this kind of clay with salt and form it into, into peaks and things. Volcanoes. It feels just like that. It feels like the, that salty clay. We're going in. Look how bad it's, it, the weather is so different from the last time I was here. This is sea life. <laughs> so, just came to find out, or come to find out, that our toilet didn't have any water anymore. And it sounds like in the back there's like water moving, but there's nothing happening. You can, when you flush, nothing happens. So, I went to call the stateroom attendant, and he said that the flushing system is down right now, and they're having maintenance people look into it right now. So, a lot of the cabins are going through the same stuff. Fun. Like on the one hand, the decor and everything doesn't fill me with the anxiety of a thousand suns like the Carnival Splendor did, but it is old. And so we're, we're constantly finding things that are not as fresh and new as they could be, like the pillows. The pillows on our bed are great, but the pillows that are in the drawer that I took out just to have extra pillows, they don't have like a pillowcase over them. We've asked for pillowcase and he's like, yeah, no, I can't get your pillowcase. And they have like stains on them. I don't know. So we're not going to use those pillows. I haven't heard or seen a screaming child since we got here. Like, is the curse lifted? Is it possible? I know, right? That's good, right? Very good. Is that vessel in my buddy? Is it a ghost vessel? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, it's like I don't see anybody else talking. No, I don't. We're going through a tunnel right now, which is not raining, but it's nice. If it was raining, it'd be covered. So. Forty something degrees. Just forty something degrees. Got the Menden Hall hoodie on. Actually, it's booze, but <laughs> we I share. Bring warm clothes. I mean, cold clothes this time. But uh, let's see what Skagway has to offer. <laughs>
walking away? Why are you walking away? There's jewelry everywhere. There's jewelry everywhere, and this place town looks like freaking Westworld, but just modern. I feel like we could have a gun shootout anyway. How do you know the people who live here aren't robots? Hosts? Yeah. Right, I don't How do you know. know that? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I mean, it makes sense because it's kind of dire living up here. It's very cold. Yeah. But nice sun today. Very nice sun today. It's beautiful. And look at all the flowers. I found flowering cherry. I found roses. I found lilacs. Bleeding hearts. It's, it's just like home. It's full of surprises, I'll tell you that. So I found I found proof that this place is from long ago and we've traveled back in time. Yeah, like side step, side step. Side step. What do I got? What do I got? Some places have pigeons that like to get your food. This Skagway has crows. Oh yeah, there. That one was screaming at Anthony because Anthony he was got too close because I was to his food. food. So he's like, get out of the park. Got so. saved by the lady with the cookies. Yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> it's great. Hey, I got a 10-year wedding anniversary ring. Mm -hmm. Even though we're not hungry. Mm -hmm. We're going in. We're getting Alaskan helmet. I didn't even know we were going to Skagway. I didn't think there was anything in Skagway. The only thing to do here in excursions costs $300 person, and you usually have to tie yourself up and sign a waiver. So we yeah. weren't going to do anything. So it's a great that, town. It's a great town. And it's awesome. good shopping now. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. For some reason, we ended up getting photographs with the stuffies that we would find on the ship. It just happened. It just happened. We didn't, we didn't even plan for this. Yeah. Anyway. So we go down to the, the pictures place, and we're going to try to get our pictures together. <laughs> Us with the pictures. Anyway. All the other ships that I've been on have like a digital reader where you can just go in and punch in your room number and it shows all the pictures that you were in. This one, I'm like, where's the reader? So we're going on both sides of the ship looking for pictures like idiots. Finally get one of the guys and he's like, yeah, we don't, we don't do that for this boat because this boat goes to Alaska and it normally has people who are over 40 and they don't like technology. These are the words out of his mouth. Yeah, straight up. They they want paper maps. They want to go through all the pictures. Which is funny because I'm like thinking, okay, you're of the generation where like IBM and Apple were like being born in the 70s and 60s. You would think that they would follow through that, considering no. they can. Grow they want a Rolodex. <laughs> they want a address book. <laughs> anyway, do you see this? This is our view today. Mm -hmm. We came back. I don't know, around two or three. Yeah. Yeah, and that was our view. While we napped for five more hours. No. It was a good day. It was a good day. And the nice little gentleman down at the picture place, he said, do you have your pin for being a gold member? Because I'm a gold member. Yeah. So he gave me the pin. That's awesome. This is legitimate. I don't know. <laughs> and then he felt bad for this one because he saw that he had a red card because I ended I'm up going. <laughs> I've gone to a few more cruises. And I think you're right. I said something like, well, yeah, he's got to work so that I can take cruises. So he kind of felt bad for me. He just kind of slipped me a yeah. pin to me. He's like, here you go. Even though it's a pity pin, it still is valid. Yeah, it's still It'll valid. It'll just be a secret I'm between you and I. Yes. Yeah. Here's a real bummer about this ship is that it's got blue glass panels, you know, these things right here. So you really can't see, you know, the other ship, even though this ship is way easier to navigate, the food's much better, the decor is brilliant for a cruise ship. Uh, this this part sucks, so you either have to get up there. Yeah. Sorry, it looked like I was going in your nose. Um, up there, back there, where the basketball court is or you look through blue glass. So I don't know, I'm almost thinking that it's better just to go back to your room or go to the Lido deck and look outside. Pretty much, yeah, at least you have comfort. The Splendor, it was glass. 
Well, not only that, you had a clear day, didn't you? We did have a clear day. Yeah, so that helps. It's all foggy around here, so. I don't know what it's gonna be like today. We are fasting though, cause damn. Still recovering. You wanna just have a little bit, and we have, we've shared a lot. We don't eat a ton and we're still like beyond yeah. stuffed. And so today we're just gonna go slow. Maybe have a salad. We need a place to watch the icebergs going down to the Tracy Arm Fjord. Go to the muster stations. Like, there's nobody here. Except for Boo. He's my somebody. He's really bored. He's not really into this whole nature thing, but he's doing things that make me happy. It's not funny. How does a nature girl get with a city boy? He just did. There's like twice, if not three times, as many icebergs now. From last time? Yes. There's a lot now. And that one was huge. There was that big giant island there was one. A big block, yeah. I'm gonna go jump on it though. Did you see that big ball? I don't know. It was a ball of snowy ice. I don't think it'd be as fun as I have it in my head, but I would do it. He's cold. Sorry, I'm cold, sorry. I'm a polar bear. We think we figured out why there isn't room service, and it's because the hallways are so, so narrow. I haven't held his hand all week. <laughs> I know, because we have to be single file. It's crazy. So we thought we were going to see Sawyer Glacier today, but after six hours of being in the fjord, the captain came on and said, it's really icy, and I got you the best view I could, and tomorrow we'll be in Ketchikan. That was the end of that. So, I don't know, about an hour ago, we came back to the room. Because sometimes you just get tired of people when you're on the ship. We do anyway. There's lots to do. But um, this is this is how we like to spend our downtime. Oh, jeez. What are you doing? I'm playing. Yeah. My little steam deck. Aren't you glad you brought that? I fortunately found in the gift shop some colored pencils. And I had bought a coloring book when I was in Skagway. So I've been coloring because outside has just been the same thing for the last hour. Oh, that's right. It'll be over there. Yeah, near deli and your pizza. So we just got done having tea time. Tea time? Yeah. And I, I had one cup of tea. 
I know it's probably absurd for me to think that we would have a pot of tea at a tea party. But it was hard to ask for tea at a tea party, so. Yeah, I don't need to go. Actually, there's been a few things where we don't have to do it again. Like I don't have to eat at the buffet again. For some reason, the buffet food is never hot. No, even when you have the hot plate. Yeah, no, my plate was hot. The food wasn't hot. But one thing that's consistent so far is the pizzas. I still like the yeah, pizzas. So like the pizzas. That's my go-to. It was just tickling me pink that I'm at a tea party and they don't have any tea. Yeah. Every four corners, you're gonna get like a drink station. They have good hot chocolate. It's in the next one over. This is the best of the Lido decks that I've been on for a long time. You just have floor to ceiling windows for the length of the ship. That's great. All right, now we're gonna go watch some Broadway show, right? I think so. It's sort of Broadway. Maybe quick stop to eat at the Broadway show. Oh, eat? Oh, so full. <laughs> I'll gamble while you eat. Not that long. That's a great. Oh my God. Watch another, well, not another, this is our first like our first Broadway one. We came yesterday and then it was like Show boboed out. Yeah. Yeah. They can change the schedule. As Subject they to change. So but that's handy. Here's hoping it's good. I think it'll be good. It's like current songs but done in ragtime. Yeah, can't wait. I love, I'm, I'm a sucker for this type of stuff, so we'll see. I got a pina colada. He got a kiss on the lips. The boats are rocking. Boats are rocking tonight. It's hard to keep her balance. Yeah. It looks like everybody's drunk, but it's fun. The only person that is walking straight is the drunk one. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's where we go. Yeah. We go to the land of the drunk so we can walk so we can walk straight. Some people aren't making it. I may not make it. I was fine downstairs when I didn't see the horizon going up and down. But now I can see it moving. And it's making me weird. <laughs> this looks like something when I was growing up in school, they'd give us something called a cheese zombie. Cheese zombie. And it looks just like a cheese zombie. It's oozing cheese. Oh, buddy, we are really rocking. Seriously, it's a beautiful night. But we both lost our patches like yesterday and we decided we weren't gonna put them on until oh wait I think even Boo lost his the days before. <sighs> Didn't stick. Like you take a shower, it goes right out. I told you there was a lot of cheese in it. <laughs> yeah, look at all that cheese. I'm having how would they say? Ham on my cheese. <laughs> Anyway, so we decided to put the patches on today because we knew we were going to be out in open waters. And I am thanking all the gods. It's a brilliant idea. Take that last patch. Take a shower. That might be the only shower you get to take. Otherwise, you have to take that off. Wait until you're in the open sea. Because there's people around here that aren't making it right now. Anyway, I'm about ready to say something controversial. But while we were at the show, the seat in front of us, this little boy was being a real turd. And so the mom was gonna take him out. Grandpa sitting next to him kind of just put him, his hands on his shoulders and was like, hey buddy, you gotta put yourself together. And the kid bopped him. The kid bopped his grandpa and then shrugged away and screamed. Mom took him out and then brought him back. I understand we're supposed to have, you know, all this great, you know, let's talk our emotions and let's be nice and let's talk through this. No, 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 if you're gonna go and hit a 60 year old man, you lose that opportunity. Because don't validate his bad behavior. That's all she was doing. You know what would have happened if dad did something? I mean, if dad had to deal with a kid like that. Right. First thing would have been like, <laughs> forget it's over. Actually, that's true. When I would, when I was little, if you misbehaved out in public, you got this part of your neck pinched by a grown ass man who worked in the fields. And that was my dad. And if, if you got the pinch on the neck, you knew you better straighten up right away or you're gonna go sit in the car for the rest of the night. You were gonna go and have a talk with mom and then come back in and have a lollipop.
we're a little lost. But we had to get third, third Z's ice cream cones. This would be my ode to my homies. <laughs> got one for me and one for my homie. So good. So it's not a blizzard though, you can go upside down. I said, whoop. Whoa. <laughs> I found it funny. I found it funny that we came to our room and got our laundry done real quick, which we weren't expecting because we were expecting it to be tomorrow. But we realized, oh shoot, he came by. And the first reaction Bowley had was, oh shit, he saw all her shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but be more specific. We're not allowed to have that. Yeah, so we're not allowed to have this plugged in while we're away from the room. We're not allowed to have this on while we're away from the room, which we didn't have on. But more importantly, we're not allowed to have the door open while we're out of the room. So those were big no-nos. Those are my own shits. Uh-huh. But we have a cute little hippopotamus koala bear thing. I know you're wondering why I wear a bandana like this now. It's super windy here. So going without hat, not happening. You look like a madman. This way you just look like you're windblown, sunswept. You're in Alaska. Okay, look behind me, do you see this? It's almost 9 p.m. at night. We got done with the show, came upstairs, and Boo was like, oh jeez, I thought it was still, I was, thought it was nighttime. And those curtains, they don't really close all the way, so if you're coming to Alaska, bring an eye mask. Oh, I hear a baby crying. A freaking open sea. The baby screams, and my ear can hear it. yourself a favor if you come on this ship and go see this show it kicked it was fun it was exciting it, the people were great he whooped he hollered it was great all around yeah like the vocals on all of them were just top notch so. oh yeah the two female leads were like unbelievably good it was great to Dolly's. Do you know what Dolly's is? I have no clue. Dolly's is the old whorehouse. She's the, like the longest running whorehouse. Whoa. Yeah. You think I was kidding, right? But this is where the salmon would spawn upstream. And the men would spawn upstream. <laughs> so this is the preacher's house, which is right next door to Dolly's. Everybody was just having a good time. Yeah, 
backyard. It'd be very tranquil. We were just on the Married Man's Trail, but I tend to think that's the actual Married Man's Trail. Mama ain't gonna find you. Oh, you look so like stoic. Pondering the world. I am excited. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, hungry, it's good. We got the nice view, there's our ship. I think this is the most popular fish place in Japan. It's been so long since I've had rice that I got the grilled halibut rice bowl. And that smells like heaven. And Boo got the three piece somewhere. Let's dig in. <laughs> I'm excited for you because it was so good when I had it. You like it? Not you like it better than the beer batter? Yeah. Yeah. It's fancy night and there's a bagpiper on the second floor. There's a lot of activity in here this evening and everybody's so beautiful. Worst day of the cruise, it's debarkation talk. Because it just reminds me it's over. I think those bundles are garbage. And they are filling each one of those crates full of the bundles. Well, another crew is gone. Look at his man, he's exhausted. Mm -hmm. so. What was your favorite part? Oh, um, I think the whales. Oh, seeing the whales? Yeah, yeah. the whales. Wasn't that surprising? Yeah, very surprising. Oh, we got to see so many other things like the sea otter and the sea lions. Yeah, and yeah. I still haven't seen a puffin. <laughs> been to Alaska twice, yeah. no puffins. But everybody's been great. This ship is kind of funny because it's older, so some parts stop working for a little while, but they get right on it. Yeah. Yeah. Can't complain. No. I gotta get him to bed. Ah!